Hey guys, how's it going? Man, hope you all are doing so very well. Man, I hope you guys are doing well. And in this video, I'm going to talk about what are some of the best weapons for new players to start out with. All right, we're going to figure out which, which weapons will work the best for you guys when you're just starting out. But before I get into that, man, if you enjoy this type of content, consider subscribing to our channel. Continue to help us grow. Also, man, do me a favor and hit that notification bell so that you're alerted the next time that I drop a new video. Now that that's out of the way, let's get right into it. There are a lot of guns in this game, a lot of weapons in general. And it's going to come down to your play style. Like, what, what's your play style? How do you like to play? What weapons best fit in that style? Which, which can be a challenge to, to find out. So my first suggestion would be to try as many weapons as, as you can. You know, that Don't just limit yourself to just, just one type. Try them all. Right? Try as many as you can because you don't know what you're going to like until you try it. It can be hard to navigate the weapons when you first start. Uh, you could just be like, oh man, I'm going to jump into Wild Wild West and I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a, a, a bow hunter or, or a bow outlaw. And it takes a lot of skill in these wild, wild west streets to be efficient and effective with the bow. So you want to make your transition into the game as easy as possible. So you want to pick some of the easier weapons. And I'm going to give you my opinion what I think some of the easier weapons uh, for you to handle. And that will get you through the game until you get your bearing. All right, let's talk about pistols and revolvers. In my opinion, you want to get a volcanic pistol. You can use this one right here. And it can carry you pretty much through the entire game. It is a great weapon. As you see, I need to clean it. Um, it's, it's a great weapon, uh, and it packs a punch. It'll put down someone in one shot, and you'll have to hit them with multiple shots. A lot of the pistols, sometimes you got to put two or three bullets in them uh, for them to go down. But not with this pistol. It'll put them down immediately. And look at that. That reload is pretty pretty quick for, for a pistol. It is pretty quick. So this is definitely a pistol you want to have in your arsenal, but it may be expensive. I cannot remember the price offhand, so it may be expensive. So until you can get the money to get this pistol, I'm going to show you a pistol that's pretty cheap that you can get right away. Now what you want to get right away is a Navy Revolver. This is another pistol that is pretty strong. You see the damage I put against. I use it so it's not clean. <laughs> um, the reload rate is nice and the accuracy is really, really good. Um, this is another one of those weapons that is inexpensive and it packs a punch. It can carry you throughout the throughout the game and to the point where you can get um, a better pistol, like the volcanic, um, like the volcanic pistol. This pistol will get you there with no problems. Now, as you can see, the only downside to this weapon is the reload rate. Look at that; it's pretty slow, and the kickback. But other than that, it's 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 a great it's a great handgun, and like I said, it'll carry you through until you can get that volcanic. Or the Lamont pistol, which is a, you know, I think it's a top tier um, gun in the game. But the Navy Revolver is one of those that you can get right away and it'll help you. And it'll, like I said, it'll pack a punch so you won't feel like you're in there having to um, put multiple bullets in somebody to go down. Now, they get hit with this, they're going down immediately. <laughs> now, in my opinion, every new player to start in the game, you need to invest in a shotgun or have a shotgun because that will be like your go to power punch one punch knockout weapon that anything that comes to you you pull a bullet in and they're gonna and they're gonna go down whether it be a cougar or a grizzly grizzly gonna take a couple but it will go down so you need a shotgun but shotguns are expensive so i always say man go for the sawed off shotgun sawed off shotgun is a handgun that you can actually do it with. you can get two sawed off shotguns crazy right but you want to have a sawed off shotgun because it packs the same punch it's a little bit a little bit less um, than an actual shotgun so you can get it a lot easier and but it still packs the same power and it'll still be able to, to give you that that punch when you need it especially early on if you're getting attacked by wild animals or if you're in a jam you need to you know put some people down hard look at the damage the range it's a sawed off shotgun as you guys see i don't clean any of my guns need to clean them off the, <laughs> the range it's a sawed off shotgun so it's not going to have great range so you're going to have to be pretty close up um to hit somebody but once you're there they're going to go down. Um, the fire rate is nice. The reload rate is nice. The accuracy, again, is the shot, shotgun. And the sawed-off shotgun, so it spreads. Um, and my condition is now great because I cleaned it. Um, but it's a great, great, great weapon to have, especially in the beginning, because it'll get you out of those jams when you need something more powerful. 
and you're not able to have those other shotguns in your arsenal yet. And look at it, I'm still hitting the tree from this distance, so it's not that bad. As you see, you can see the spread and amount of bullets. So you see the spread, and I'm still hitting the tree. And the reload and the kickback are the only downsides. But again, when you're up or close and you're in a group, you can hit two or three people, boom, and keep moving. So this is definitely a gun you want to have as soon as possible because it will help you get through the game until you can get a shotgun and really um, be a beast in this game because shotguns is where it's at. You guys know I love shotguns. When it comes to repeaters, I think they all pretty much have the same simple function. They all really operate rate the same. It's just going to be um, which one you like the most. I mean, when it really boils down to it, because they all kind of do pretty much similar damage, give or take, uh, and similar range, give or take. But I think a good repeater starter is the Lancaster. The game's not clean. Got to clean them. Um, but yeah, look at the damage. Look at the range, which is, you know, key and important when you want to have a repeater, because you're pretty much going to be riding a horseback or hopping down. You want to be able to get people from a distance. At least get that first bullet in a, from a distance so that the next one will drop them. Now, the Lancaster has the ability to put people down with one shot, but it may take a couple because it's a repeater. Um, the accuracy, look at that. That's what's most important, the accuracy and the reload. Um, this will get you through a lot of um, tough spots in the game. Any call to arms, this is great. You could throw a scope on it. Um, it's just a great repeater to have, especially early game. Look at that. Boom. Look how fast it's shooting. The accuracy, I'm hitting the same spot, even with the kickback. And the reload is pretty quick. You get 14 shots, and the reload is pretty quick. Great, great weapon to start off with. And like I said, it'll carry you through the game until you can upgrade it or get a, a better repeater. But in my opinion, there's not many uh, repeaters that are in the game that are better than this. Maybe one or two, um, give or take, like the Litchfield. It might be a little bit better. But the Lancaster is a is a great one, and you should have If you can get it early game, as soon as you can, man, get it. It'll You'll, be, you'll thank me because it's going to carry you so well through the game. Now, when it comes to rifles, I'm going to say you want to get you a bolt-action rifle as soon as you can. Uh, you, you probably wonder, like, when you're in the call of arms, like, man, what do they keep killing me with? And you see bolt-action a lot because it's a powerful, powerful rifle, right? So you want to make sure you can get it as soon, as soon as you can. I mean, just look at the damage. That's why you are dropping when they use this against you. Look at that damage. And the range is ridiculous. And you could throw a scope on it and get even further. Um, the fire rate is a little bit slow and the reload rate is uh, it's okay. But the accuracy is pretty much, uh, what is that, 96% accuracy? Um, and the condition is good because I keep it clean. Um, but this is a great, like I said, it's a great weapon to have. You want to get it as soon as possible. Because this rifle will definitely carry you throughout the entire game to end game uh, with no problem. And look at that reload speed. It's pretty quick. And the kickback is not that bad. And it's have a, a variety of type of bullets, including explosive bullets. Can you imagine hitting somebody with this with the damage being already maxed with explosive bullets? It's going to be crazy, right? Just crazy. But this is definitely the best rifle in the game. I put it on top of, of the Springfield rifle. I, that's just my opinion. I think it's the best uh, in the game. And you want to get it as soon as possible because, again, It'll get you through any and every mission, no problem. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Those are all of the weapons that I think are must-have for new players. You want to get them as soon as you can because they'll make your life a lot easier in Red Dead Online. But, again, try them all, man. Try as many as, as, as you like. Again, it's all up to your preference and your play style. In my opinion, these are just some of the ones that will get you through the game and help you along the way while you're learning the game. But that is it, man. That's it for this one, guys. I hope it was helpful in some way, shape, or form. And if it was, man, do me a favor and consider subscribing to our channel. Please continue to help us grow. Also, man, hit that like button and let the YouTube algorithm know you enjoy this type of content. So they should have the others who enjoy this type of content as well. And do me one more big favor, man. Hit that notification bell so that you're alerted the next time that I drop a new video. That's it. I'll catch you all on the flip side.